Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we are doing another band ranking, and today's band is Evoken. Evoken, the band which evokes many emotions when you listen to the songs because god damn they're emotional. God damn they're brooding, kind of like Swallow the Sun, very, very sad, very somber, very long. This is Funeral Doom and its peak. And we're gonna dive through the discography and figure out which album is the peak, which album is the best, and which albums not so best. But we've evoked another band where all the albums are fucking fantastic, fucking fantastic. So before I get started with my ranking, let me know down below what's your favorite Evoken album, what's your least favorite. Let's get started with the fucking ranking. So coming in last in my list is Hypnagogia. Don't know if I've said that right. But one thing I will say is that the cover art for this one definitely matches the music. This definitely feels more like the aftermath of a battle than the battle itself. We'll get to an album which feels like the battle, the horrors of war, but this one feels like the aftermath. This one has a very happy, I want to say happy it's funeral doom, but compared to the rest of the discography, this one is a bit, a bit more cheerful, the melodies are a bit happier. It's, it, there's a lot of spoken word stuff in here, and I know there's some in the others as well, but this one seems like there's a lot more, a lot of different sounds, and if you want, like, in, I don't know, I guess the most interesting Evoken album, the most, I don't want to say progressive, but you know what I kind of mean, the most fresh kind of Evoken album, this is probably the one for you, and this might be higher on your list. You might even like this the best. For me, with my Funeral Doom, I want dark, depressing, dingy, and all her other albums kind of nail that. This one... It's doing something different, and I applaud them for that. And this is a great goddamn album from start to finish. Still Funeral Doom, still long songs, but it's just, it just to me, this one feels a bit too happy. A bit too happy. Maybe I'm, I'm in the minority on this one, but yeah, still love it to pieces, and it's still better than most of the shit out there, but it's gotta come, something's gotta come last, all right? And let's go into the latest album. Next up is Caress of the Void. This one is a more darker sound. There's only a couple of songs on this one. Super long, super dark, super evil. And what a thunderous sound when it kicks in with the first song. Holy shit, that startles you. That goddamn startles you. And the name of it, Caress of the Void? Come on, Sifis would be proud. The vocals on this release especially sound menacing as hell. And what's the song, Mer Merithereum? I think that's how you say it. Has such cool guitar leads in that song. Fantastic song. And descend a lifeless womb. With the goddamn speech at the beginning. I saw the world descend. I'm almost kind of feeling like Behemoth with Blow Your Trumpets Gabriel. Kind of has a similar kind of feel to that intro. Beautiful song. One of the best songs. The reason this album is falling short is the fact that it's... It's not as memorable. I know I've just picked out loads of memorable parts from the album, and it's a great album, but the other albums just have more memorable parts in. And I can see myself hit like when you when you get songs and they get stuck in your head and they go round and round. Some of them are like this on this album, but it's not as hook laden as some of the other albums we'll get to. Uh, so it is kind of it's second last, but it's kind of a midpoint. I do think it's fantastic and people could have this number one again, but for me, it's just never grabbed me. Like, the other albums have grabbed me and shook me like, hey, listen to us. So, yeah, it's coming here. Quietus is next. Some people's favourites. This is the sophomore album. And it's a, it's a bloody banger. There's a, quite a lot of songs on this compared to the one we just mentioned, but the sound design on this one's a bit strange. It's a bit... It's a bit more improved than the debut, but I think the debut just because of the because of the poor sound design on the debut, it sounds better for Funeral Doom. I don't know, I don't know. The, I just prefer the debut, and the songs on the debut just stick with me more. But this is still a fine ass release, which is a classic. The intro song sounding like some Paradise Lost. You know, you're in for a doomy time when the first song sounds like Paradise Lost. Thicker production, thicker production sound, and it. You know, it sounds better, but for me, it's just the, the debut sound just nailed it, I think. Tending the dire hatred, though. The fucking chunky death metal riffs on this. This feels like a chunky death doom song. Holy crap, it's fantastic. And there's beautiful spoken word and violins throughout. This is a fantastic album. It's applauded, and mo a lot of people have it number one. For me, it's coming here. 
because the others are just better for me. So ranking, it's supposed to be biased, and I'm gonna be fucking biased and put all the best ones right here. Next up, Embrace the Emptiness, the debut, which I really wanna put number one, I love this one. From the art, how spooky it is, the, like the fog-filled art, how it just embraces the music itself. This is like you're being embraced by emptiness, and you fucking love it. The sound again is a bit thinner, but the songs, all oh, they make up for it. They are catchy as all fuck. Tragedy Eternal, fantastic opener with a war drums kind of sound. Kind of sounded like you're going off to fucking Mordor to fight. Then it kind of hits you with like this Swallow the Sun or Paradise Lost S guitar with the fucking war drums. Yeah, that song, the first song of this album, bloody amazing. But yeah, the sound throughout of it has this unique style, kind of similar to like early. Uh, early funeral doom bands like Ferragothan, esoteric and stuff, but I like that quality about it, and I think these songs just hit harder than Enquietus, so embrace the emptiness, I love it, it's coming here. Coming in at number two is Atra Moors, which, oh this is so close to being my number one, so close to being my fucking number one, I adore this album, I think every song is a 10 out of 10, and this album is a 10 out of 10, this is fighting for first place, and maybe it'll get there soon, but at the moment it's number two. There's these these next two albums, holy crap. Thick, thick fucking dread. It's like the smoke's enveloping around you during this album. Oh my god. Title track, sounding like a heartbeat, and you're slowly going insane when listening to it. Speaking of madness, Descent into a Chaotic Dream has this dreamlike section in the middle. Then gets darker and darker and darker and ends with a fucking solo. And the solos on this album. <laughs> holy crap. This album has everything. It's one of the darkest, one of the most depressing, one of the most dread-filled, and it's heavy, and the production is fucking clear as hell, so yes! One of my favourites, Atramores, overlooked in the discography, and I think it's one of the best, so Atramores, coming here at number two. So that only means there's one number one, and that is the antithesis of light. And when I was talking about the Hypnagogia being the aftermath of a battle, this is is the horrors of the war in the trenches. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is creepy. This is the creepiest album they've done. The most evil album they've done. Atramores is probably the most depressing, and the debut is the most Funeral Doom-like, but this is the most just, like, you, you feel like you're about to go to war and die in war. You're not gonna succeed. There's no thoughts of success here. You're a soldier, and you're fucking dead. And starting off with that creepy, kind of Morrowind-esque sound from the intro. Kind of like you're going into an ancestral tomb. Do not tell me it doesn't sound like that because it fucking does with a whispering like <laughs> creepy as fuck. Like the spirits are coming to haunt the battlefield and then it just drops you into this thick, murky, funeral doom madness, which I love. And Solitary Ruin is so haunting. Pavor Nocturnus with the angel-filled melody, like the ethereal angel-like melody on top of the guitar and heavy drums. Oh, perfection. You got like the ethereal stuff, you got the creepy noises, you got heavy fucking drums, heavy production, growls off, off the charts. And when the title track hits, you almost swear you're listening to black metal. Yep, yeah, this album has it all and it's easily the best Evoken album of all time. So that was my ranking for Evoken. Have you listened to them? What did you think? Let me know your own rankings down below and hopefully you get into them. It's a hard genre to get into, but it's probably my favorite. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it alongside with me and check out all these albums. Check them all out because they're all fantastic. One of the best Funeral Doom bands around. And we'll catch you at the fucking next ranking, which should be Deicide. So we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.